get you back to that breaking news that we've been following for you all morning here. A group of migrants from the Texas border just minutes ago arriving right here in Philadelphia. They traveled 1,900 long miles to get here. Eyewitness News reporter Rosti Mate is live at 30th Street Station with the very latest. Hey, Ross. Hey there, Jim and Janelle. As expected, that group of about 30 migrants arrived here at 30th Street Station just shortly after 6 o'clock this morning. And that was the timeline as promised by Texas Governor Greg Abbott. We know that these uh, migrants are coming from Del Rio, Texas, and they were directly sent under the uh, supervision and orders of Texas Governor Greg Abbott. We watched as they arrived here right around 605, 610, and uh, were immediately greeted by city leaders, different community organizations. They had boxes of supplies, mostly clothing, ready to go just in case they weren't properly dressed, although it seemed like like many of those migrants were properly dressed. I counted about two dozen of them. Most of them were women. There were some children mixed in. Like I mentioned, there were city leaders here well, uh, ready to welcome them here to Philadelphia, including Democratic City Council member Helen Gim. And we just caught up with her. She talked to us about the numbers and also she wanted to thank many of the city organizations, community organizations that came out to greet these migrants in an, uh, a foreign city to them, at least. Take a listen. I want to say a huge thank you to our advocates who are here first thing in the morning. They have been on the front lines of helping communities all across the city of Philadelphia. They deal with housing, um, they deal with education, they deal with um, you know making sure families are held together, and they've been dealing with the with all of these situations um, from get go. And we're incredibly lucky to have them. And Councilmember Gim also gave us an update on what she believes the final numbers to be. She says she thinks there were 28 migrants on board that bus. Some of them were children, like I mentioned. She also mentioned specifically one of them, a 10-year-old girl, showed up feeling under the weather, which she found very disappointing. We didn't know what kind of condition these migrants would show up in, and she believes that that girl was... Uh, dehydrated, feeling sick, um, but is expected to be okay. So she's thankful for that. But again, she threw the blame back on Texas Governor Greg Abbott. I asked her if she is concerned about more buses of migrants coming here to Philadelphia. And she says, not worried about that right now. The city is prepared to welcome more migrants if and when they come. But she believes that the word of Texas Governor Greg Abbott cannot be trusted. She believes that he is an attention seeker in her words. And she doesn't believe that we can rely on his word to form our city's uh, plan going forward as these migrants migrants may or may not continue to arrive. Of course, we'll be continuing to follow this story. We believe that this initial group of migrants was taken to North Philadelphia to a welcome center where they will be uh, greeted with more uh, resources, a roof and shelter and food over their head as needed. We're live outside of 30th Street Station. Ross DiMatteis, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank, thank you, Ross. We appreciate it. And we'll be right back.